Hey, what's up my fellow UPSers? Back at you again with another quick video. This one I got for you is about how you can change the settings on the keyboard of the Dyad 6. If you want to change the theme, if you want to change the size of the keys, for example, if you want to change the language even, there's all these different settings you can tweak that might make it easier for you to use and more functional. So uh, yeah, so let me show you real quick. So for example, if you want to get into your messaging, just to, or wherever, you know, you add, where you want to bring up the keyboard. So I'm just here on the messaging. Uh, type in a text field and the keyboard pops up. All right, this brings up something that you, you you may not even recognize this keyboard right now because the default keyboard is not the keyboard you're looking at right now. This keyboard here is the Google keyboard. It's called Gboard. Um, and this is not the default keyboard. So if you don't see this keyboard, I highly recommend you change it to this keyboard. And to do that, if even if you're on the other keyboard, it looks different. Down here on the bottom right is a little keyboard icon I just pushed. And that's going to give you your option to change the keyboard. See, right now I'm on Gboard. That's the one I've, I like, and it's way better. In fact, you have to put it on the Gboard keyboard to enable voice to text. So definitely, definitely change it to Gboard. The other one, the default one, is is made by Honeywell, who is who, who I believe makes the Dyad. Um, it's just a really cheap, generic keyboard, and it doesn't. It's not intuitive. It doesn't really give you any options, and um, and it doesn't have the option to do voice to text. So don't even use it. I don't know why that's the default. Change it to this Gboard one, okay? So once you have it on the Gboard one, uh, you'll have you'll have looking like this. And you'll see mine probably looks different than yours too, even if you already have the Gboard one, because I have a nice pretty little theme. So I've got like a sunset and it's like a nice contrast and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you want to change your keyboard, go here. See, uh, if you don't see these little options across the top of it, Hit this little this little G for the for Google, and that that'll bring up these options. You may not see that, but anyway, you see that little settings, the little gear icon. Push that, and now you got languages, you got preferences, you got themes, uh, text correction, uh, glide typing, voice typing, dictionary, all these different things, even some advanced things. But I, I highly recommend you go into preferences and change the size of the keyboard height. I've got mine set to extra tall. I've got big old hands. Um, so the default I think is just normal, which is like a mid medium size. If that's working for you, that's fine. But you may want to try changing the size of the keys. Um, again, I have mine on extra tall, which is why the keys look nice and big and pretty. Um, but you can change all sorts of stuff, whether or not it makes sounds, you know, when you push the keyboard, all that kind of stuff. So you should probably go in and tweak those things and you will be happy. But you can go into themes. So hit, hit theme. You could change the the color of the background. You can change, you know, if you want it to be like a picture. All these different things, and I know this is kind of silly stuff, right? Like you, it may not matter much to you, but sometimes it, it actually helps. Like if you have a different background color and the contrast is better, you can see what you're typing way better. Like we're out here in the sun, there's glare on the screen, all these different things. You may find it beneficial to change the theme, change the color of the background so you can see the keyboard better, so you can see what numbers and letters you're typing on. So it actually is functional and helpful. So anyway, yeah, I've got mine on a, on a sunset looking one. I don't know, just to show you, I'll change it to something else, uh, this. Oh, it actually has to download this one. It looks like some kind of a beach thing or something. Um, you can have keyboard borders or whatever. It doesn't matter, but hit, hit apply. Now I'll go back. And it should be now some kind of a beach theme to it. It's hard to see it. I don't know if it's kind of glary, but I can see that there's like a beach in the background. But either way, it's got it's got good contrast, black, basically back, black in the background with white lettering. It looks good. It's easy to use. Anyhow, uh, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you that. Oh, I have one. I have one quick little tip. One quick little tip that I just thought of um, that I noticed a, a couple weeks ago. But as you're doing your pickups. I don't know if you know this or not, but let's say you're just on your main, the, the main list, you know, you're doing pickups or deliveries or whatever. If you go to a pickup and a customer hands you um, uh, the, the driver summary, the end of day or whatever you want to call it, you don't have to like first go into your pickup and then scan it. You can just scan that summary, the barcode summary as, as if it was like a package or whatever, and it'll bring up that pickup that you that you're about to do that you're trying to do you don't have to first open that pickup in the dyad list just scan that info or not the info notice but the the package summary and it'll bring up that stop it'll bring up that pickup and then you can go ahead and proceed it's just like one less thing you have to click on but it's just, it kind of makes it easy anyway that's it i just want to give you that quick tip all right guys change the keyboard settings but again first go into um the dyad and change it to the gboard keyboard gives you all sorts of options and again it enables voice to text 
And if you didn't already know how to do voice to text, I guess I'll show you that real quick. Once you have the Gboard keyboard going, over here on the top right, see this little microphone icon? Click on that, and now you got voice to text. See, it's it's translating my voice right now to text. And that's it, man. You hit, hit enter, whatever, and it's all there. I actually rarely type on the keys anymore if I don't have to. I just I just use voice to text and just talk as I'm walking. It's, it's pretty easy. I use that as much as I can. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.